Alright guys, I'm going to give you some early information about this new game called H1Z1. It's in pre-alpha. If you uh, go ahead and hit play game, the game launcher will come up. I just want to point out, I did purchase the premium content for this game. It doesn't matter if you purchase the $20 or the $40 as of right now. When you uh, get the game, uh, you uh, have a creating account. Once you're logged in, very important for all new people, I highly recommend going to this little advanced tool right here to the right and click on open game directory open game directory very important so this is going to bring me to my hard drive where I have this game installed and I have Windows 8.1 um, and it's installed in my Steam app common folder H1Z1 what's important about this folder it has a special file here called user options if you look at the bottom it's called user options you want to double click that and open it if you guys are planning on streaming this game with open broadcast software, you're going to have to set your mode to Windows full screen and full screen mode equals windowed. So now whenever I play this game, it will be in windowed mode. So you'll be able to capture it. That's very important. I've seen a few people asking about how to do this online, and I figured I'd make a video on how to do it. Also, I was going to make a video and show you the game settings that you can change. You can set your rendering. You can set your max frames. You want to turn your smoothing on and off, your fog shadows enabled, etc. You can make these changes to the game in this file by just changing the one to a. If you want it one, you don't zero, obviously. And you could set the your uh, uh, field of view FOV. You can set a higher or lower depending on what you want. You can also change your camera, your click to move, your rail. The main thing that I really didn't like was the sound. I you are not currently able to adjust the sound in game. Obviously, this game is in pre-alpha and they will fix it in game but as of right now you cannot so the default is actually uh, 1.0 I believe all around it's 1.0 all around and I went and changed it to less because if you have played this game when you launch it it is very very loud so I turned down my sound settings so it wouldn't make me deaf so I went ahead and made these changes on my sound settings and it has a video streaming for like capture devices with Nvidia people who are doing that and then uh, one thing that's pretty interesting, this auto refuse option, this kind of goes to show on what the game plans to offer later on, that it's going to have options to request a friend, do a duel, do a guide, hide the UI, trade requests, housing invitation, and group invitation. These are just some of the things that obviously are going to be infinite in the game, so this kind of gives you a little bit of an insight on what they're planning to do with this game. Uh, it has the voice chat options here as well, and your channel group for your computer, etc. So, very important when you guys get the game before you play it, make sure to open up this user options tab and set the options you want. If you guys have any te uh, tweaks or hacks or cracks or anything that makes your game run any smoother, if you guys want to post it in the comments below, I'd really appreciate it. I, all the good ones I'll personally upvote or even add them into my uh, comments here on this page. So, this is your H1Z1 starter guide how to stream, how to modify your game settings with the tool on advanced tools options with your game data file user options thank you so much for watching my youtube this is Gotham bro make sure to subscribe share follow share my videos post them on your facebook your twitter all that good stuff i really appreciate it thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time